Hi everyone, I'm Mark Eisenthal with you on this Sunday afternoon with the Cape Cod weather blast update. Now appears Jose is going to be a problem for us. Much more on that in one second. First of all, weather forecast being brought to you by our good friends at the Maids of Cape Cod. They are referred for a reason because they do an awesome job. They show up on time. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Why clean yourself when you can call the Maids? 508-778-8768. Weather headline would suggest the following. Jose is going to be a problem. A slow-moving storm means coastal flooding. There'll be some flooding over the Cape and the Islands, of course. Dangerous rip currents and perhaps winds gusting over 50 miles per hour. Now, we do have a high surf advisory out for Narragansett Bay and the south coast of Rhode Island, also including the Vineyard and Nantucket. My sense is that's going to be expanded to cover the south side of the Cape by later on today. Now, here's the latest situation on Jose, if you are plotting the storm. Well, you know something, before we do that, let me tell you this. It's a tale of three storms. When you see, you will see actually, Lee, which is on the bottom right-hand side of your screen, uh, moving off to the west-northwest. And then we have Maria. She's now up to 65 miles an hour in terms of top winds, located about 450 miles east-southeast of the Leewood Islands, moving off to the west-northwest. That could be a major problem for the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico. And then, of course, we have Hurricane Jose. So let's zone in on Jose, and you're going to notice the storm becoming better organized as an I, plotting the storm, 31 north, 71.9 west, 355 miles southeast of Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and again, moving north, top winds 90 miles an hour, will affect southern New England, but probably not as a hurricane, as an ex-tropical storm as it gets into colder waters. Now, this is going to be the track. We just have to wait for this to recycle one more time. This is off the GFS model. Okay, one more second, and you're going to see that Jose comes up the coast. Now, there it comes. Here it comes right over or just to the east of Nantucket by early Tuesday. It zips off to the south-southwest, does a loop-de-loop, -loop, and here comes Maria trying to come up the coast for later in the week. So lots to follow. But here's the other thing to think about. The water temperatures off New England are running in the 50s and 60s, and south of us, just low 70s. It's not until you get over the Gulf Stream east of the Carolinas where water temperatures are over 80. That's why we think that Jose is going to lose its trial tropical characteristics here by the time it threatens New England, but still it could be a nasty nor'easter. Forecast for the Cape and the Islands goes like this for the balance of the afternoon, partly sunny and mild. It'll be in the 70s, and then overnight fog comes in with low clouds. It'll be buggy, temperatures in the 60s. Here's your five-day forecast for the Cape and the Islands. Lots of clouds tomorrow, northeast winds, low 70s, then rainy and windy weather here on Tuesday. Winds could gust over 50 miles an hour, could be some flooding at the time of high tide, and again, very dangerous rip currents. The rain should end Wednesday, some improvement. Then summer is back here Thursday and Friday. But this is a changing situation. You need to stay tuned. Of course, we'll be around and we'll keep you posted. For now, I'm Mark Rosenthal.